What's up YouTube? This is your boy TechZone and today we'll be reviewing um, the D-Link 8 port gigabit Ethernet switch and a CAT7 Ethernet cable made by MediaBridge. So we're gonna unwrap these two boxes. I want to talk a little bit about the product. Alright so let's check out what the D-Link comes with. The D-Link Got some booklet, quick install, uh, install guide. So, this is the switch itself, which is pretty small in the size. Uh, you know, when I ordered it from Amazon, I thought it would be a little bit bigger. It looked bigger. Uh, this is the charger. And I got two screws if I wanted to hang it up into the wall. Or just lock it in somewhere okay let's check out the second box that's the 10 fig gigabit ethernet cable so the way you know is gigabit because it's got gold plated so the reason why I needed the switcher and uh, you know to have this 8 port switcher working because unfortunately Verizon router comes with only four ports in back of their router and uh, I asked Verizon if I could use a different router um, for the gigabit connection and this is what they told me that I, I would have to use this router order for me to get the maximum speed um, as you can see I have more than eight Ethernet product that needed to be connected so that's the Philips uh, the Philips light bridge and then this is my NAS drive, which is the Synology 1512 Plus. This one actually have a two LAN port. So if in case one doesn't, doesn't get the internet connection, so I will have another one for backup. Then I have my Sony Blu-ray player. I have my Amazon TV. Uh, my TV is also actually hooked up with the ethernet port. So, and uh, I have a couple more products on that side so when I when I look at it you know if I add more product into this uh, in, into this media play um, the four port is not really enough for me so that's the main that's the main reason why I had to get the switcher so I'm gonna plug the switcher in now and show you guys uh, how it's work all right guys, so I finally set up the the D-Link uh, switcher. Uh, so let me just give you guys how that works. So power number one is where the ethernet coming from the Verizon modem, the blue one. Uh, so that's green, so that's mean there is internet connection in here. And then since I have three extra devices, not six at this point, so I made a gap of each. So I have something on a three five and seven um, I tested I tested out uh, to see if the internet is working so we're gonna test it out one more time to so I could show it to you guys and um, I still use all the ports in here uh, for the heavy duty so my NAS drive two of my NAS and um, the Amazon TV because I do watch a 4k from there uh, some 4k videos from Amazon TV so I have my Amazon TV hooked up in there as well. All right. Um, so one of the main reason I used, um, I decided to have the TV wired internet instead of the Wi-Fi because uh, when I was trying to play movies from our NAS drive using Plex, uh, sometimes it would have buffer even though we in the you know it is on the same network. Um, mostly would have happened if I were to play a. 4k video uh, so now it's, it's, it it works much smoother I could see it and it's loading up faster so having the Ethernet you know uh, to be connected with the Ethernet is actually a, a better option um, hopefully you guys this video was helpful to you guys so if any one of you actually doing a lot of heavy-duty work you know with your multimedia server um, I, I definitely recommend you guys get an extra switcher 
and and get some gigabit ethernet cable all right thanks for watching